Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose. So glad you could join me today. I'm gonna get straight into this. I totally thought that I had filmed this and when I went to go upload, there was no video. So apparently I was not recording, which is ridiculous. Um, so I have had a couple of requests um, to do comparison videos. So the first request was for the beautiful Louis Vuitton Montaigne BB and the gorgeous Speedy B25. They're both in the monogram, as you can see. And of course, this is in the bandolier style, which means it's got that strap. Um, so I'm going to give the detailed features on each one, then kind of go um, over what fits inside, give you some mod shots, so you guys get a good idea of what you're looking at with each of these bags. So we will start with the gorgeous uh, Montaigne BB. So the specs on this, hang on, sorry guys, so the um, product code or the um, item number is Emma's Mary 41055. This particular bag retails for $22.60 in the US. You've got 11.4 inches in length. You've got 7.9 inches in height, and then you've got 5.1 inches in the width or the depth. You have this beautiful removable shoulder strap. It is not adjustable. You've got the clochette um, right here. And then I wanted to give you the inches on the strap drop and I'll get my tape measure out in a second. Um, but you have the natural cow uh, cowhide leather trim so that's the beautiful leather that you see here and on the sides, those tabs. Let me show you the sides as well. You've got those gorgeous feet at the bottom, the gold uh, feet at the bottom. And per the website, it says that it's got a burgundy interior. But to me, this is more, I mean, I guess it is, but it, to me, it looks more like an eggplant. Um, and I'm hoping you guys can see that color but it looks more eggplant, like I said, to me. You've got this one central zipper right here. You've got the two compartments on the sides. Then you've got this one pocket right here on this side, and you've got the two BB pockets on this side. So you've got one, and then you've got two, of course. You've got the clasp right here, where you can close it for security right there. And I guess you could also attach a mini pochette, which I will show you here in a second. Um, but it does have, um, it's the microfiber lining, um, on the interior. And this is where the lock sits right here, which I think is so cute. It's right there. You know what? I didn't look for a date code on this. Um, I haven't yet actually. Okay. So it's right on that flat pocket, that single flat pocket. And mine is, um, CA416. 8, 7, so it was the 48th week of 2017 and mine of course is made in Spain so it's right on this um, pocket right there so I think that's everything um, I will let's see do I have there we go oops all right so from I'll go down from let's see from the clasp to where it's So it's about 23 inches. The strap drop is about 23 inches, 24 inches, somewhere around there. At the very top, it's probably 24 inches. So that's a great strap drop. It's easily uh, usable for crossbody. And I will give you guys or show you guys mod shots after I've gone after the uh, details of the Speedy B. So that is a Montaigne BB. I'm going to stick that beauty right there. All right, so this is um, the Louis Vuitton Speedy B uh, 25. It of course has the gold hardware, the brass hardware. It's got the lock with the keys. It's got the adjustable removable strap. It's got three pieces to this strap so you can take one off and wear it easily over the shoulder. Um, you can obviously wear it cross body. It has a lot of different um, uh, holes, I guess, to where you can adjust, yeah, the adjustments for the strap. You've got the uh, puff chaps right here. 
Then you've got where you've got the size, where is it at on mine? Right there where you can see the size of the particular bag. Right there it says 25. This particular one I believe was made in the US. These are really hard to come by, made in France or made in Spain. Um, the Neverfuls and the Speedies, unless you get lucky, are more times than not going to be made in the US. These do not have uh, feet. The Speedies, it's got the um, machete here, tabs there, and right there as well. The one thing that um, I guess does bother some folks is that the lock tends to be a, a more matted, I guess, gold, and the hardware is a shinier gold. You can see the contrast right there. Um, it is kind of odd, but it is what it is, because I think most of them come that way. And then it does, of course, have the double zip closure. So you've got the two right there. My charm is totally falling. Um, double zip closure. And then when you get in on the interior, get this stuff out of there. It's stuffed right now, sorry guys. You have got, and the old Speedies do not have this, but you've got this interior zip pocket. I think it just had this pocket without the zipper on the older models. So you've got that, and of course it's got that canvas lining on the interior, that brown lining. Then you've got the D-ring right there where you can you know put your uh key charms or your pochette uh, mini pochette or whatever you want to hook on there um and i'm looking for where is it at yes the date code is above the lip of this pocket right here as you can see so mine was definitely US, so it's SD1157. It's made in the 15th week of 2017. So this bag is made in the US. So there's the gorgeous Speedy B25. And I really feel like they're comparable in size, but this is the specs uh, per the website. We have got, and let me give you the um, product information. So the product code for this Speedy B25 is M as in Mary 41113. It retails for $13.70 in the US. So we've got 25 centimeters or 9.8 inches in length. You've got 19 centimeters or 7.4 inches in height and then 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches in depth or the width right here. So let's see how comparable. So it's a little smaller as far as the length and the height from the Montaigne and then it's got it as far as the width or the depth by like 0.8 uh, inches on um, the, the girth, the width of this between the Montaigne. So they're pretty, pretty comparable in size. Um, I think that covers everything as far as the specs uh, and all that good stuff. So we are going to kind of show you what fits in each. I will do mod shots. Um, yeah, and we'll keep this moving. I'll do the Montaigne since I did that already first. But there's a shot of them together again. And I will give you all angles so you can see. Stick that here for now and it is filming good grief okay so I am going to take just kind of and I will obviously you guys know the speedies are like they, they fit everything and then some they're like the endless pits right the 25 30 35 40 they all they're just we know hands down it's going to be able to fit more than this but i just kind of want to show you or give you options if you will just so you know kind of what fits inside each one so on a daily basis i always have my toiletry pouch 15 so that's going to go on one of the side compartments i haven't switched out from my um zippy compact wallet yet so this is a mid-size wallet it's not a compact and it's not a large so there's that that's going to go on the same pocket in the same pocket so i'm just going to put those vertically right there 
Oh, you guys, let me just, I've got these, um, I did an IPL treatment today, so if you guys see that my face is red in certain areas, I'm trying to get rid of my sunspots, um, so the dark spots, what happens with IPL treatments, so I'm told it's a laser treatment, is the areas are supposed to kind of just fall off over time, um, so if I look swollen or that kind of thing, I got it done this morning at like 8 o'clock, um, so that's what that is, if you guys are wondering. Um, so my um, round coin purse, and I just usually have like Listerine strips in there and my um, earbuds right there. I don't put change in there just because, you know, I don't know what happened with my first one. So anyway, that's going in that same pocket. So it's right down there. And I forgot to say, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I don't know if I said that already, but I really appreciate it, you guys. Um, so anyway, uh, six ring key holder. That's going to go on the very top right there. And I love this so much. I, I'm, yeah, I should be getting my um, monogram six ring key holder back today, actually. Um, it was pretty fast. It was super fast. That went in for repair for the, the button closure. Um, that was replaced. So I will give you guys an update when I, I'll probably post that on Instagram to show you guys. Um, okay. I also have my mini pochette. And in this, I just kind of have a lip gloss and just like loyalty cards and the, that that those types of things sorry all right there's that and that's going to go on the opposite side and i'll put that up as well because i like the way it sits it fits more then i've got my um business card holder and this is in the gorgeous um multicolor, and it's got that gorgeous hot pink interior granade i think is uh the color but i love this so there's that and that could easily go in a pocket, but I'm just going to put it on the side. And I always have my sunglass. This is an MM size sunglass case. I always have this with me. And I'll do it to where I've stuffed it enough so that it still clasps. So that's what I have so far. And we're going to see if that closes. And it, it doesn't already. So I would never, yeah, so I'm like squeezing it together and it will, I just don't want to mess it up, but let's try it anyway, just for kicks, but it's not. Okay. So that's what I have in so far and I couldn't um, clip it for, for security. Um, so there's that. What else could I put in? Um, of course. Yeah. Oh, there, I just saw it. And for me, this is essentially what I would take on a daily basis. I always have my PM agenda and I always have my iPhone 7 Plus. So I'm going to try and finagle this in here. So it just takes a little bit of playing around sometimes. Okay, so everything's in there. As you can see, it's pretty stuffed. It's pretty packed, but I like it. It doesn't bother me. And I'm going to stick my iPhone in there and see how that works out. And I could also stick this um, card holder in, in the middle pocket just to give me a little bit more room. So I'll put that in the middle pocket. I'll just show you. It's in there now. Right there. Peeking through. So we'll close that. And then I'll put my phone where that was. Okay. So there is everything. And that's pretty much, of course, if you're better at organization than I am, you could probably fit it more, you know, orderly, I guess. Um, but that's everything that I would need. And I'm okay with it. And it easily goes over the crook of your arm. I love wearing it like that. I love wearing it top handle. This is how it looks <laughs> crossbody. So it sits really where I'd like it to. I am 5'3", you guys, for size reference. And it fits beautifully there. Of course, over the shoulder, it's going to be a little long. And I don't like it this long. Um, but that is over the shoulder. And see how far it comes down. I would never wear it like that. I am a big fan of crossbody. So I would be wearing this crossbody. Um, so that's what fits inside. Um, 
I have tried it with a toiletry pouch 19 and it fits in but you've got to put it in vertically and just and it, it takes the whole length of uh, one of the sides but it does fit inside of there and I might bring that out just just to show you guys so that's pretty much what fits in there I'm gonna take all of these items out and then of course I will demonstrate how it fits in the speedy b25 and of course you guys know it's gonna fit perfectly, but I just, I'll show you anyway. Okay, so there's that. I absolutely am totally obsessed and in love with this bag. I, I, like I told you when I did the unboxing, it is nowhere on my radar and I just saw it. And the monogram, I, there's certain bags, and I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but there's certain bags with monogram. I love Damier Bean. I love it, but, and it's so carefree, but I just, you know, I'm not big on the patina process. You guys know that, but I just, I find this to be so stunning. I love this so much. I feel like it's classy enough to wear it, you know, on a dinner or something, but it's, it's casual enough to wear it every day. I just, I love it. Okay, and I love that the handles go down like that. I think it's so cute. All right, anyhow. Okay, so it's empty right now. I'm going to put um, my uh, PM Agenda. My mini pochette and with this you guys that have the speedies you know that these can become just your stuff gets all jumbled in here and that is a little bit annoying to me it really is sometimes I really want to get a purse organizer just so I know exactly where everything is because once you put everything in here if it's not packed in it, it everything gets thrown in there and that drives me absolutely batty but I digress uh, toiletry pouch 15 my battery's going to die, of course it is. I've got my Zippy Compact Wallet. I have got my business card holder. It seems like my battery always dies, doesn't it? It's ridiculous, I've got to do better. My round coin purse. My uh, sunglass case, MM size. my six ring key holder and my iPhone 7 plus so I'm just going to show you without that is everything in there right now and then of course this would go on top but as you can see you guys there's so much added room there's just plenty of room for whatever else I need I can put a shawl on here. I can, uh, let's see if this will get in there. So this is my um, pochette from my Neverfull uh, MM. And it will not fit in there. It's because of the length. It's pretty much the length. All right guys, so my battery did die. Sorry about that. So I think I was just adding a little more um, that's way close. So I think I was adding a little more items in there just to kind of demonstrate what fits in um, the Speedy B. But here's the Rosalie coin purse and it just holds cards and it's got a change um, pocket right there. So I'm going to put this in there as well. It's mass, it's just like amazing what, what this purse can fit. Ted Baker pens. And my passport holder. My Louis Vuitton passport holder. And that is how everything is in fitting in so far. And as you can see, there's still so much room up here, you guys. I, I, I love these purses so much. Um, I have... I was going to... Yeah, I'll do that later. Okay. So if you wanted to take a scarf with you, here's my newest acquisition my Burberry scarf so I'll stick this on top and if you guys didn't want to close it you really didn't you, know, you don't have to because um, it fits right there and you can just easily grab it but that would be pretty much what I would I mean I really wouldn't but I'm just trying to show you what you can fit inside 
and voila that's everything it is a bit heavy obviously and like i said you can take off one of these to make it a better fit as a shoulder i'm just going to demonstrate what it would look like with all of all three of the um shoulder straps and of course you can adjust that but it sits just like where uh the montane was sitting which i don't like as you guys know but of course you can wear it top handle or crook of the arm excuse me um top handle and then my favorite which is crossbody because I do love being hands free and that's where it sits and I love where it sits but this one does project out more um that's what I kind of like better about the Montaigne because you can see it you know it's full it's stuffed right now so it's protruding I, don't, I mean that's protruding a lot there I don't like that obviously I'm not going to be carrying that much like I said it's just for demonstration purposes um, but you guys this can fit so so much in there I did bring some additional items to kind of show you um, the variety of options that you have so I'm going to take this stuff out and I just want to show you that easily um, this is my toiletry pouch 19 how easily this can fit in there as well now of course you would have to keep it on uh, in this way because it obviously wouldn't go this way at all so let me take a couple more things out and I would have to adjust everything once I got um, this in there because it's it's taking up a lot of room right now all right so I'm gonna stick it in there and it's in there and you could put everything else around it it's sitting right there i want to demonstrate that it does fit in the montane as well and like i mentioned i have to put it in this way just like i did with the speedy uh, b and it does fit in there perfectly it takes up the whole length um, of that pocket or of that compartment so that fits in there perfectly and then I brought, just to show you guys, I brought my um, MM Agenda, Louis Vuitton MM Agenda in the Epi Leather, and then my GM Agenda. So I want to see, obviously the GM is not going to fit in the Montaigne, but I wanted to see if the MM would fit in there. And it does. Wow. If it's perfectly, and you've still got some room on that side, but there is the MM Agenda. That surprised me, you guys. That surprised me a little bit. Um, yeah, so it fit in that way. And then, of course, the MM Agenda obviously fits in the BDB25. It's right there perfectly. And then... I don't think this will fit in either one um, so let's just let's just do it and see what happens let's get all that out of there yeah I mean it's not even gonna fit in this way the opening is too narrow so you guys that is not happening because it's getting stuck on the it's getting stuck stuck on the snap closure so it, it won't fit in either one of these. So there you have it. It fits in that way. I don't think you'd ever carry it that way. You might want to. I don't know. But it does fit in that way. Um, but yeah. There you go. I feel like I covered everything, you guys. If I didn't, if you have any questions, please don't ever hesitate uh, to ask or DM me. Uh, DM, excuse me, DM me on Instagram. Uh, my email is always down below, as is my Instagram handle. Um, there is my comparison with the gorgeous Montane BB and Speedy B25. I hope it was helpful, you guys. Um, like I said, it was requested. I will leave who requested it down below. Um, I don't have that with me right now, but um, there it is. If you guys like the content of this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. I love interacting with you guys. I will be doing a giveaway very soon. I have to hit a certain number, and I am pretty close uh, but what i want to do because i want it to be for you know the subscribers that have been with me from the very beginning so what i'm going to do it a little bit differently um what i want to do is actually pick myself um 
who the winner is going to be from the comments and I will elaborate on that in my next video. Um, I've got some videos following this. I know I uh, got a request for the Montaigne BB and Pochette Matisse uh, comparison. So I'll be doing that and of course I do want to do the comparison between this and I, I have the Montaigne GM, the big brother to this, and the Empreinte leather. So you'll get a, a feel of the leather versus the canvas and the size, you know, son versus dad if you will. Um, um, but yeah, I'll be back with those two videos very soon. I have a tag video I need to do um, But you guys thank you so much again. I really do love interacting with y'all. You guys are amazing. You're so sweet I love this community and um, Again, please like share comment subscribe and I will see you soon. Take care you guys